Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, further about the aldol reaction, this time focusing on something called the cross-aldol reaction. The cross-aldol reaction is a case where you have more than one aldehyde or ketone in the reaction. And you might prefer one of these carbonyl compounds to be the nucleophile and the other to be the electrophile, but unfortunately, you don't have that much control over what happens, at least not as I have set this up. So uh, what happens here is that we have two different aldehydes. Either one could be the nucleophile and either one could be the electrophile. And you're gonna get a different product out of each possible combination. And so, uh, then, and just to, to demonstrate how this works, let's just walk through all, all four possible combinations. So we could have butanol as both the nucleophile and the electrophile. And of course, what nucleophile means is that butanol is present in its uh, enolate anion. Okay. And it's also present as the electrophile. And we would get a product H it looks like this. We can have butanol or, or, or its enolate as the nucleophile, and we can have propanol, the other aldehyde, as the electrophile. And we get a similar but not the same product here. We could have, we could switch. So we could have propanol as the nucleophile and butanol. So we actually just grab butanol. Butanol as the electrophile. And again, we'd get a third product at the end of the day. And then finally, we could have propanol as the nucleophile and propanol as the electrophile. And we would have a fourth possible product. Well, isn't this maddening? Uh, it turns out that the, and then the ratio of these things could be controlled by the ratio of of propanol to butanol. So for example, if we had twice as much propanol with butanol, we'd get a lot, uh, we'd get more of the products involving butanol or propanol and then less of the butanol, butanol uh, self-aldol condensation. But this generally is not productive. Right? People tend not to do it this way. Right? In order to get a productive cross-aldol condensation, you need to be able to feel good that one of your carbonyl compounds is only gonna be the nucleophile and the other one is only gonna be the electrophile. And in the next video, I'm going to show you a way that that works. Thank you for watching.